If you want to save money, over $200, and drink water that you trust, then you're going to want to see this, the do-it-yourself gravity water filter kit. Everything's included. I'm going to unpack this bad boy and walk you through the assembly process. Okay, inside this kit, there's two lids. One lid has two holes in it. There's two Dalton 7-inch ceramic water filters, a water spigot, and two 22-quart or 5.5-gallon containers. The first thing to do is to wash and rinse the containers and lids. So get them clean, and we'll be right back. We'll start with the water spigot. The spigot comes with two sealing gaskets and a jam nut. Take off the jam nut and one sealing gasket and then insert the spigot into the hole at the bottom of the 22 quart container. Place the sealing gasket and the jam nut back on the spigot and tighten it down. You can twist the spigot from the outside while holding the jam nut to further tighten it, and then you can position it correctly. Now I'm going to show you how to assemble the ceramic filter components. Locate the 22 quart container with the two holes in the bottom and the corresponding lid with the two holes. Before we go any further, let's unpack the filters. Inside each box is a Dalton 7-inch ceramic water filter. There's also a wing nut and a ceiling washer, and of course the instructions. This is the kit's filter. The outer shell made of ceramic provides the microfiltration. An antibacterial formula within the ceramic matrix inhibits microbiological growth. The filter also contains lead removal media, which takes out toxic lead. I've cut away the side of this filter so that you can see the inside. So water is pulled first through the ceramic and then secondly across the carbon matrix core, and then finally exits out the bottom of the filter. The next thing to do is to wash the two filters. Rinse them thoroughly under running water. Also make sure your hands are clean as we're gonna be handling the internal parts of the filtration system. We're ready to assemble the filters. Locate the lid with the two holes in the corresponding 22 quart container with the two holes in the bottom. Place the lid on the bottom of the container and line up the holes. Next, take one ceramic water filter and make sure that you place the sealing washer onto the threaded mount. You want the sealing washer on the inside of the container. Now push the threaded mount down through one of the holes in the container. Place the wing nut on the threaded mount and then hand tighten it. You can turn the filter from the inside simultaneously, but when you reach the end, tighten it from the wing nut only so that you don't damage the filter. You then repeat this process with the remaining water filter. I want to point out the Dalton logo on the bottom of these ceramic filters. There's a big problem for consumers in the ceramic filter market, and that's that there's a lot of knockoffs floating around. Unfortunately, this means that it's really easy to accidentally purchase a ceramic filter whose manufacturing location and our production standards are really unknown. Dalton's ceramic filters are NSF and WHO certified, and they've been tested and approved by numerous independent bodies and agencies. Dalton has been manufacturing these filters for almost 200 years. So get a name that you can trust. Okay, now we're ready to start filtering water. I recommend running an entire batch of water through the filter. As I mentioned, these filters contain carbon granules and black particles, and these can be seen in the water that first runs to waste. This is normal and will clear as the water runs. Okay, that's it. Remember, drink often and drink safely.